Guys, I want you to take a quick look at this crazy looking zombie. Look at this thing. What the heck? Guys, what's up? Back Bro Jagger back for a brand new Minecraft video, and today we're gonna be checking out over 40 brand new, insanely weird Minecraft zombies. So, guys, real quick, before we jump into the video, I want to know your guys' opinion on my skin. But yeah, I decided that what I would do is kind of combine my old skin with my new skin, and yeah, so this is what I came up with. So I think I'm just gonna stick with this one. I really like it. I don't know if you guys will like it too, but yeah, as long as I like it, I think it'll be okay. I think enough of you guys will enjoy it. Plus, most of the time I'm just playing like this, so yeah. It, it's, it's pretty neutral nonetheless. But anyway, guys, make sure to go smack that guy out of that like button with your entire fist. If you do enjoy today's video, let's aim for, uh, let's see. Let's aim for 1,001 like, guys. All right, let, let's get over the 1,000 and let's get one past that. Nothing more, though, guys. Whatever you do. Nothing more than a thousand. I mean, if you guys really want to do past a thousand, I guess that's okay. But yeah, let's get to a thousand first. But anyway, guys, let's hop into the video. So yeah, this is one of the weirder Minecraft mods that I've ever checked out. Like, as you can see on the wall here, these are some of the trophies that you can actually collect after killing one of the 46, I believe, zombies that this mod adds. So if I go in here, you'll see that we have the regular zombie. I'm going to spawn it outside. And just so you guys can get a comparison. So yeah, this is the regular zombie. Uh, kind of simple. Burn Burns in daylight, and, you know, it, it looks like a regular zombie, kind of like me. But if I go in this giant chest right here, you can see that we have a bunch of different spawn eggs for a bunch of different zombies, all with different special abilities, all looking completely different. So yeah, I'm gonna take out a few here. Let's just take out the first list, and then I'm gonna fight some of these bad boys. So yeah, let's head in this chest right here so I can grab my full diamond armor. It, it's a little bit different than diamond armor. I think it's better, even though it, it is a skirt. You'll see in just one second here. And I also have the perfect lab battle Axe. Now, this mod does add in a bunch of brand new weapons and items, which I believe you can actually use for crafting uh, if you get some gems that they drop. So let's put all of this stuff on. Uh, don't make fun of me because of the skirt, guys, okay? I mean, it's for protection. All right, so first up, we have the evil zombie. Now, you'll notice that these zombies don't really seem to burn in daylight. All of them have different health and armor. So yeah, the evil zombie looks very, very scary. Look at that. It looks like Satan. All right, so let's take this dude out. Let's see if he has any cool drops. Now, this battle axe is probably, I think, the most powerful battle axe that I've seen. So let's see, some of the drops we have. We have a zombie gut and a zombie heart. So I'm pretty sure you can actually cook these up and eat them. I'm sure they're probably pretty dang disgusting, though. All right, but anyway, next up, we have the happy zombie. Now, oh, what the heck? His neck is a little bit messed up, and he has worms going through his head. So yeah, these zombies aren't really meant to be scary. They're kind of meant to be like, like weird, cartoon, funny zombies that make it a little bit more easy to kill zombies. And like, you don't really care that much about these. Oh, my. Whoa, whoa, I wasn't ready for that. I don't even know. This is a headless zombie. They run really fast, I guess, without a head. All right, Mr. Headless Zombie, I'm gonna take you out. Let's see. Do I get any cool drops here? All right, it looks like I just keep getting zombie hearts. So, yeah, we'll probably know when we get a nice drop. But next up, we have the Titan Zombie. Oh my goodness. All right, this has to be a boss. All right, I'm gonna go nap it up right here. Yeah, this looks like he's made of like multiple different zombies. Oh my goodness. All right, let's take him out really quick. It should be relatively easy. It, we haven't hit the new combat update, so I can literally just spam click this dude. I'll let you guys know when I get around to killing him. All right, guys, and there we go. Now, let's see some of the drops. We got one of the actual heads. So here's the Titan zombie head right here, which has some nice particle effects. And we also got a Titan gem fragment, which I'm pretty sure is used to craft the armor and weapons from this mod. So anyway, next up, we have the skeletal zombie right here, which is pretty much just a zombie and a skeleton together. Nothing too crazy here. I really like how they all look. You know, you get zombie eyes, you get a bunch of cool new zombie drops from these guys plus they look not too scary like little cartoons now this one is called the rare zombie this thing looks like a little gremlin all right back that up let's see wait how much damage do you do are you oh all right yeah stay back they're not that hard to kill so yeah it's definitely neat especially if you want to add this to your minecraft world because they'll spawn in naturally in cave systems and stuff like that and you'll just see a bunch of weird looking zombies running around your world but anyway let's spawn in the old zombie <laughs> This looks like something from Plants vs. Zombies. Looks like the old dude. So yeah, let's kill him real quick. I'm sorry, old timer, but yeah, we needed that. And for some reason, he dropped a flippin' carrot. All right, guys, so I just filled up my entire inventory with a bunch of different zombies. So let's just check them all out at once. I don't want this video to be like 40 minutes long. I want it to go kind of quickly. So yeah, here we have the angry zombie. We have the tall zombie. Oh, that dude looks a little bit strange. We also have the asleep zombie, which... <laughs> all right, let's take out these dudes real quick before I actually get murdered. All right, let's take out this. The tall 
zombie definitely has a lot more health, which is a little bit strange. The angry zombie, not too angry, not too difficult to kill. And then the asleep zombie, like, dude, what the heck are you doing? All right, next up, we have the invisible zombie. Oh, this one is actually kind of difficult. Oh, well, you can only see its face, and it runs really, really flipping fast. Okay, get the heck away from me, dude. I need to see you. Oh, my goodness. That was actually kind of difficult. All right, so now we have the twin zombies. Oh, my goodness. They're actually twins. Like, they're connected to each other. Look, their arms are actually connected. This is one Minecraft mob. I've actually never seen something like this, where it's like one Minecraft mob, but like multiple different bodies on it, except maybe from the Orspawn mod. But yeah, anything else, I have not seen that before. All right, let's keep moving on. We have a baby zombie right here, which is, does that have an axe? Oh my goodness. Is it, uh, no, that was actually a popsicle. That was pretty dang funny. But yeah, next up, we have the zombie arm, which is literally just a crawling zombie arm. It doesn't really like move that fast. It only has three health, so you can kind of just punch it to death, but it will sneak up on you. So definitely be careful. Now we have the explosive zombie, which I'm a little bit afraid of. I'm going to gap it up because this dude's holding TNT. All right, let, let's see what you're going to do. Uh, you all right? Oh my goodness. Okay. That wasn't that bad of an explosion, but it's literally like a creeper combined with a flipping zombie. All right, let's keep moving through these bad boys. And now we have the fat zombie, the pig zombie. Wow, that is a giant pig. We have the stretch zombie. What else? The king zombie, the hell zombie, and the zombie head. Oh, whoa. All right, this one's a boss battle. That one's a king zombie. Okay, king zombie is very dangerous. Let's kill him first, and then we'll kill the rest of them. Oh, we have a little zombie army coming at us. I should probably respond in some villagers so that they would maybe be distracted a little bit. All right, this, this king zombie is taking forever. All right, the other ones are coming in. We just need to take this dude out. King zombie is packing the biggest punch here. The other ones look really weird. I just killed like the weird tall head zombie, the stretch zombie. All right, let's kill this dude. The zombie pig is coming at me. I kind of want to ride the zombie pig, but I don't think I'll like that. All right, the king zombie is dead. Do I get anything cool? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, let's kill the fat zombie and the pig zombie. The pig zombie doesn't seem too bad, and that zombie is flying. All right, let's kill these zombies zombies real quick and we're gonna have to take out the hell zombie which has little minions flying around him now does he do a lot of damage here let's see oh not really all these zombies are kind of easy to kill they don't do a ton of damage so you don't really have to worry too much unless they're really really fast oh wow i didn't realize this one shoots out wither balls so be careful about that but yeah it shouldn't be too bad it's kind of just like a gas mixed with a zombie so let's take him out real quick and then we'll keep moving on all right guys i just about got him and the last hit there we go any cool drops it looks Looks like we just got another zombie heart. Gosh dang it. All right, but let's keep moving through these bad boys. Next up, we have the strange zombie, which I, I guess, oh yeah, that's definitely a strange zombie. Plus it's a flipping mini boss, all right? I thought all of these are strange zombies, but I guess this one's actually like really strange. It has what, five different heads? That's not even a zombie. This thing looks like a flipping alien. What the heck even is this? This, yeah, there's no way that this is an actual zombie. I might just leave him to be because he's not really bothering anybody. He does want to kill me, but all the heads don't really seem to do a lot. So yeah, I'm going to push him all the way over there. We're not even going to worry about that dude. So yeah, I'm just going to let them roam around. You know their drops. They pretty much just drop rare crystals that you could use to craft armor and weapons. But anyway, moving on, we have the queen zombie, which, oh my goodness, it's another flipping boss and it runs fast. Gosh dang it. All right, we need to take some of these out. So I decided to spawn in some iron golems in order to help me out with these boss battles because I just didn't really feel like dealing with it. All right, good luck over over there guys i'm gonna keep moving on so next up we have the clown zombie oh my goodness this is literally another flipping mini boss now wait oh he ran right into that but it looks like he actually has a steve head in his hand he's running way too fast to see and he is whoa, whoa 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 what the heck all right guys well i'm gonna be honest i definitely did not think i was gonna die all right guys but the show must go on so next up we have the big zombie which might give these iron golems a little bit of a problem actually nah probably not but it does look a little bit scary it has some weird teeth and it has twin heads so yeah watch out for that dude but next up we have the franken zombie here oh this thing all right it's not as bad this one looks like frankenstein combined with a bunch of other different body parts. So yeah, let's take this dude out real quick. I don't really have an issue with the small bosses. Oh, he actually killed one of the iron golems. All right, but here we have the dark zombie. Oh, this one. Oh, that one's a little bit scary, all right? It has some weird things on its back. The iron golem should take him out. Yeah, nice and easy. Let's see. Next up, we have the bi zombie. Oh my goodness. It has two heads. Oh, that is weird. How like it, it's all 
connected, how the neck's all blocky. I, that's just a weird design to me. But yeah, over here, let's spawn in the metal zombie. Oh, yep. Just as I thought, he has a bunch of health because he's made of metal. So yeah, he probably has high armor too. Let's spawn in the doll zombie. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. No, it's not. No, it's not. All right, the doll zombie. Dude, you need to stop. Oh, he has like a knife in his hand. Or is that a... Oh, no. He has literally a doll on his back. He's like a baby zombie with the doll. All right, yeah, you stay away from me, dude. All right, that was a little bit scary. All right, guys, we only have a few more zombies left, so let's move on to the Devastation Zombie. Oh, what the heck? That does so much damage. Holy crap, that did a lot. So next up, we have the Floating Zombie, which just doesn't have legs. And why do they all run so flippin' fast? Help me, Iron Golem. No, Iron Golem, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, dude. All right, you need to stop it. There we go. Let's keep moving on. Let's just power through these. We have the Girl Zombie, the Pumpkin Man Zombie, the Cow Zombie. That is cool. We have the Hungry Zombie and the Dog Zombie. So I believe there's only a few more after that. So here's a good look at all of them. The Pumpkin Zombie apparently has an 8-pack, so I'm guessing all of these zombies are ripped now. I don't know how they're ripped, but they are. All right, guys, so we're actually down to the last seven zombies here. So let's jump right into it. First up, we have the teddy bear zombie. Oh, that is actually the cutest thing I've ever seen, yet also the scariest thing I've ever seen. All right, next, we have the slow zombie, which we shouldn't really have to worry about because look at him. He's crawling. His legs are broken. All right, over here, we have the cowboy zombie. Is he actually going to shoot me? Oh, my goodness. He actually does shoot. I mean, it's arrows and everything, but still, he will shoot at you. All right, let's move over here. Away from that dude, we have the black zombie. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's like, oh, it's, it's like a sad Slenderman zombie. That is actually like a ton of health. All right, dude, I need help, Mr. Uh, Iron Golem. Just protect me for a little bit. All right, so we only have three more left. So let's go over here. We have the pirate zombie right there. Shouldn't really be too much of an issue for that Iron Golem. Next up, we have the cookie zombie. Oh, the cookie zombie. Do I eat him? Can, can I pick him up? Oh, no. You killed the cookie zombie. Guys, that was my favorite zombie out of everything. All right, guys, but anyway, last but not least, we have Dr. Zombie, which, of course, is a boss battle. This one's probably the most horrifying one out of all of them. He has three giant heads. He's pretty much like a witch. He throws a bunch of potions at you. So, yeah, I'm definitely gonna need these iron golems to help take him out. All right, guys, but yeah, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to go pound that guy that like button with your ring finger make sure to go do that right now and also guys while you're down there make sure to go comment which zombie was your favorite from this list as you already know my favorite was the little cookie zombie because i flippin love cookies but yeah guys that is pretty much it i really hope you did enjoy my name is Bebro jack and i will see you guys all next time goodbye Yeah. Yay.